Hey there, everybody. Happy Friday. I hope you guys had a good week. I've been having a great week because this deck can not lose. We're trying to build a dynasty here today, you guys. I want to see if this Grim Procession build can go undefeated. Uh, so we got one more match standing between us and the cup. The cup of victory. Uh, so let's see what's going on. I don't I don't know. There's nobody, nobody's hanging out here. Screw it. There's, there's probably too many matches open. There were a lot of matches open earlier. So let's see. Free for all. Oh, man. Oh, no X's. Man, come on. I assume you guys want to see the matches finish. We'll just create one. We'll just sit for a little minute. So now we're, now we're you know, three. There's only three dudes. And I got next. Come on, people. Who doesn't want to play with me? I'm great. Maybe I should invite somebody. Maybe I should check. Is anybody on? Friends, come to me. Nope. 37 hours ago. 13 minutes ago. Oh, I just missed you. Damn it. <sighs> Nobody. I'm on uh, I'm on my personal account too, so that's that could be part of the problem. Yep, let's do this! This guy. Does he have what it takes to bring down Grim Procession? I don't know. I'm stoked. Morrow is short for Mark Rosewater. He's he's Magic's lead designer. Kick-ass podcast. Pretty entertaining stuff. Nope. Nope. Oh, a thousand cards. I cannot keep this under any circumstances. One land and a bunch of three drops. I don't have really anything before three, but... God damn it. Fuck. One more time. Shit. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. Hopefully he's playing Mill. Because that'd be great. We got an extra five life. Uh, I guess we're just sitting, seeing what happens now. Uh, I cannot believe I had to friggin' mulligan down so much. So upset right now. Why are you not playing anything, sir? This is really bad news. I need friggin' two swamps in a row, really, to do anything. Shit. Well, at least I'll have time. Wow, I am bone choned right now, I'll tell you that much. Does he not have anything either? Perfect! Huzzah! Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. How'd you guys know? Jesus Christ, this is terrible. Oh, just don't give him a land before me. What's he got? No creatures. He's got no creatures, I'll tell you right now. What a dipshit. Uh, I don't even care if he knows what I'm playing. I need a friggin- I need two swamps for this to even be any good remotely. So what has he got? Like pacifism in hand? So it's not even gonna matter when I play friggin' Nighthawk. And I'll have like any of my removal, or instant speed removal, so I can't get rid of stuff when he goes to uh, enchant it up. It does look though that if I'm able to take out one of his guys, I'll be able to take out pretty much everything he's got. What's this goat do over here? What the hell is this shit? Indestructibility? Oh yeah, so he's even running uh, bullshit. That's pretty, pretty funny that that's like his entire win condition right now. That's what he's trying to do is do the indestructibility bullshit thing. Whatever, go. Let's go ahead and make it indestructible. Make your goat indestructible. Oh, uh, whenever you do damage, blah, blah, blah. Nope, he's got this thing too. Everything becomes like a 1-1. One, one. Yeah. I'm going to have to pillory that thing. That is zero damage, dipshit. I'm going to be so angry if this guy wins against me. I'm going to be honest. Yep, I take zero. Dick. Can't play a goddamn thing. Pillory that thing. This is how I'm going to win. Notice Pillory says loses life, so that's going to get around that too. I'll do one damage to you. Screw it. You're at 18. Let's do this. Let's just sit and do this. Whatever. Pillory is like the only way I can get past the indestructibility thing. I'll sit here for 20 turns. I don't care. He is on a 9 turn clock. So there you go, buddy. Indestructibility. Do it. Knock yourself out. Good work. We all know what you're trying to do. I don't care. 
I'm fine with it. Attack in again. You do not learn your lesson. <laughs> oh, God. Well, if I lose this guy, my ranking is going to, like, <laughs> I, like, the ranking doesn't mean super a lot to me, but I'm going to be pretty sad when I lose to this guy. I'm castigating. Like, I'm, what, I'm gonna drop another 1-1? One, one? Who cares? Let's castigate. Because if he has the other piece of it and I get rid of it right here, it's gonna be hilarious. Oh, he's sad. Alright, what do you have? Well, that's really good, too. Coronet. I don't really care about any of the rest of this crap. Chant Creature does stupid shit. Yeah, I need to get rid of Sun Titties. Those titties too bright. Can't have them blinding me in my face. All right, so we can drop another stupid goat. That'll be fun for him, I imagine. You, okay, he's got life gain now. Shit. It's pretty good too. At least this will have Death Touch if I ever get to play it. Oh, it's indestructible, isn't it? Shit, I'm gonna lose to this friggin' punk. Nope, no, I'm good. That's funny. He doesn't have Hexproof for anything, does he? That is awesome! Woo! I was worried. I was worried and scared. I was scurried. That's scared and worried. Scurs worried. Your one, pass turn, hopefully he tries to play something else on it. Take another one. Please play something on that guy. Come on. Come on. You can't be content with just damaging me for four, Mr. Greed McGreedles. Nope. Unmake that guy. Sucks for you, bud. Bye bye. All right, we're back in this. I'm being a Grumplestein over here. <laughs> this is like the grumpiest uh, commentary I've ever done. But I just really could not stand it if I lost to this guy. So we're going to try. Yep, you got, you got another goat. Big dumb goat. Coming out. Coming out to play. What are you getting, buddy? Instructability again. Great. Exactly what I wanted. That's loses life too. I mean, it's almost at the point where I just kind of have to play that. Do damage to ya. I'll get in there for one more. I'll get in there for one more with this too. And it's loses life, gains life. So I guess I'll play this and we'll just see what happens. Go. Bird would still be a 5-5 if I could get up to 25 life, but I don't see how I would be able to do that. If I just keep drawing my removal right when I need it, I'll be happy. I'll be fine. Fuck. He has to reveal him, right? Yeah, he has to. So he's got indestructibility in hand. He pretty much played out everything else that I had seen because he had Coronet was in hand. This was in hand. Uh, he had that thing that when a creature dies, it comes back uh, under control. That was in his hand. What three dreams is he getting? Indestructibility again? Follow footsteps is going to be pretty goddamn good. Hold on. Indestructibility, follow footsteps, Imperial Armor. Yeah, Fall of Footsteps is going to be pretty bad for me. Got to be honest. Wow, I can't even play that. Jesus. It's going to be pretty bad because he's going to follow Footsteps, my, my freaking dude right here. It's going to be a real tough break for me. I'll play my bird. Why does that surprise you? Bird, your turn. Wow, this is gonna be the most uphill, uphill climb ever. I don't even know how I can do this. He's spending time indestructibility and stuff instead of freaking using follow footsteps, which would have just shut me down at this point because I'm still doing three damage to him. 
Like, I don't understand this guy at all. Indestructibility does not win you the game, guy. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, you t you're doing two damage to me, boss. I don't care. Come in. It reduces to one when I gain my life back. I gotta really start, this is just the biggest load of bullshit I've ever seen in my life, but, so I do four damage to him, he's at eight, I'm at 16, I mean I got to, gotta do what I can do, I mean eventually maybe I can throw my dudes down in front and have them die for him to lose life, but there's no sense in holding somebody back, you know, just so I can do that. At eight. <sighs> I just need a black so I can play Ghost Council because if I play Ghost Council, I win because I get to sack my other dudes, do two damage to him that he can't stop even if he gets a stupid combo off. But he's gonna follow footsteps here, but he doesn't get it until that's so bad, dude. That is so bad. <sighs> you guys, give me strength. Give me strength, Magic Jesus. Give me strength to carry on. God damn. Wow, I'm at two. Okay, so it's not unblockable or any crazy stupid shit like that. See, I need to lay a, leave a flyer back too, though, so I can block. So I can block him if I need to. Because it's not guaranteed that I can block him. Let's take him to six. Because if he plays something that lets that guy fly, then I'm super boned. There's nothing that gives trample. Like, if it stays on the ground, I can just block it with this dude and I'll be fine. But if it starts flying, I have to block it with my friggin' bird. This is the worst. Great. Yep. Yep. See, I knew it was going to have a flyer. Did I just win, though? This block's here. This block's here. He loses two life. I attack him for two next turn. No. No, yeah, I did just win. Because I attack him for three next turn. Yeah, he just lost. This guy was terrible. This guy was terrible, but I can't believe just how unlucky my draws and stuff were. I did just win, though, because of Pillory. <sighs> wow. Wow, oh my god, I'm having like chest pains right now. Cause I get two, let's make sure that I'm not doing this wrong. I get two damage through no matter what right here. Like I get two damage through no matter what, and then Pillory just wins. Yeah, so I just won. Jesus Christ, that was horrible. Like that was horrible. God help me. Wow. That was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life, though. That guy. Uh, can I just skip it? No, I have to. Damn it. Still loses. <sighs> Jesus Christ! That was a nightmare! Are you kidding me? Wow! That was simultaneously the worst and best way to end the week. Because, like, that guy was terrible. I understand that. But the fact that I had such a shitty hand and still won was kind of awesome. You guys are really going to have to sound off in the comments about this freaking episode. Because that was just, that was crazy bullshit. Like, that guy is terrible. He should have won. He should have won that. Like, he, he lost that match to me. Like, that, he beat himself in that match. But, uh, god damn, I'll tell you, that was nuts. 
That is absolutely nuts. Uh, a couple things that we learned. Indestructibility does not win you the game. I'm just saying. Does not win you the game. Just, just want to throw that out there. Oh, God. Wow. Wow. That was crazy. Uh... That was really crazy. Uh, I hope you guys liked the episode. I actually really did like that episode. I thought it was pretty exciting. Um, just because, like, I thought the entire time that I was about to lose. But somehow, some way, I pulled it through. I don't know. I don't really think it was me. I, I think it was him. But uh, anyway, thanks a lot for watching, you guys. I'll see you next week. Hit up the comments uh, talking about this, this video, talking about how you liked the week, how this worked out for you. Let me know if you liked the new format for the show. I don't know what we're going to be doing Saturday and sun Sunday. I don't know if I'm, I'm going to have videos then or not. But um, for the most part, I just want you guys to be super involved in what's going on here. So let me know, first and foremost, what deck you'd like me to do next week. Um, there's already been a couple requests. This was, you know, one that I heard and that I, I love this deck, so I decided to do. But uh, just let me know what deck you want to see next week. Most of all, and then just tell, talk to me about this friggin'. I, I want to talk to you guys about this friggin' episode because that was nuts. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, you guys. I will see you next time.